Hey, what's going on, guys? This is KDK Keo Daikin. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content as well as all of the retro gaming um, tutorials, walkthroughs, and things that I've been showing you. Um, I've been in preparation for a lot of the PlayStation 2 emulation uh, tutorials as well as working on some new releases as well as working on some other tutorials that I need to hurry up and get up for you uh, that vendor sent over for review. But at any rate, the purpose of this video is to let you guys know what's going on with some of the retro pie images. I may do a part two to this, but uh, quite recently, I know that there's been an increase in requests for a lot of Pi 2, Pi 3, Pi 4, and even now Pi 5 images. And so some of you guys have been wondering, like, where's the drought? We haven't seen a lot of this stuff. But in addition to that, if you guys are familiar with Arcade Punks, quite recently on their community page on Facebook, as well as their main website, they've been pushing a lot of older links, bills made from 2019 up until currently. Most of them are Pi 2, 3, and 4 images. And so most of you may not be aware of this, but a lot of these images are broken. And there's a reason why uh, a lot of us have stopped uh, supporting some of these images is because there have been constant updates. You guys may not be aware of this, but RetroPie used to, I don't know when's the last time they really done it, but they periodically send out updates to change uh, the operation or remove emulators from a particular build at a particular point in time. So for example, back in 2020, I had my Raspberry Pi 3 image, 3B plus, it was perfectly fine, connected to the network, one day I woke up and saw that MAME 2016 was added and Advanced MAME 1.4 and several other emulators were removed. Well, that totally broke my image. It totally messed up my arcade set because a lot of those games were assigned, you know, like my light gun games. And I think it was also like X-Men versus uh, or X-Men, the arcade game. They were associated with Advanced MAME 1.4. And so main 2016 uh, runs like crap on the Raspberry Pi 3, 3B plus. So totally useless. Now you guys won't see any of these updates, but some of these updates can occur when you get ready to transfer ROMs over or whatnot. In addition to that, there's been a number of EEPROM updates. I mean, drastically, I know the Pi 4 was notorious for that, but since the Raspberry Pi Foundation came out with their new OSs, they've been slowly adding those to the Pi 4, the Pi 5, and also the Pi 3. So, just to give you guys a heads up, a lot of these images that are from the dead, they may not boot. They may not work accordingly as to how the original image maker created them. And so essentially what this also does is that then creates the work uh, for maybe some of you to download something, whether it's anywhere between 128 gigabytes to 700 gigabytes to get something and then find out it needs more work than what's posed here. So I wanna show you guys a few posts here uh, that's located here on the Arcade Punks website, Facebook. You got an image here from Retro Devils. I think that's Retro Pie based. Uh, no, it's Android based. Okay, well, I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, we also have here a beast from the archives. This one was 750 gigabytes. Uh, this person hacked and modified Wolfenos' image. So it was based on Supreme Ultra. I know that for a fact, this particular one has been old and outdated. We don't even support it anymore. Uh, that one's definitely going to need an EEPROM update and some other things too. This one's based on uh, Damaso's Nostalgia Dream Trips. <clears throat> that one's not even really supported anymore. But there's a host of these here. And so essentially what's going to cause for you is for somebody who may not be in the know is to download something like this and say, hey, you know, where's the original image maker? I'm going to ask some questions. And sites like these, they don't give you that additional information. There's no caveats here. There's no disclaimers. So you're going to put in more work downloading this and then finding out you need to download the right emulators, maybe change a few things, and then also the EEPROM update uh, needs to be updated. And then it's on a oper uh, operating on a different base. So essentially, you're probably better off downloading something brand new starting from scratch or downloading the latest build, whatever is working for that, and then building from there. Now, if you want to download something and then copy the ROMs over, that's fine. But in situations like this, uh, you're going to put in more work than it's needed because you're going to spend time trying to figure out what's wrong with it instead of just jumping into a situation where you know what you need to do and then using it from there. So anyway, just wanted to make this video, let you guys know that's pretty much what's going on. You guys see a lot of these images are out there. 
This is why a lot of image makers have retreated to their own discords, their own Facebook groups, so they can curtail a lot of this information because they're aware of certain bills. This is why I have a Patreon. This is why I have my own Facebook groups. And so that way you guys are kept up to date with a lot of this stuff. If you guys remember my original Pistolero bill, if you guys even see that, I don't even support it anymore. One reason being, uh, one reason being the EEPROM updates uh, needs to be there. Some of the updates from the Retro Pi team and Pi Foundation probably would have broken it by now. If you already have it, you're fine. But if you're downloading it now and then need to update or do something, it may potentially break it. And then the sending software on that, completely outdated. I think that's using version one and now it's up to version nine. Uh, and again, I don't support it. It was just one of those images that were made for that specific point in time. And you guys need to be aware of these things when downloading this stuff because, you know, again, can't stress this enough. This is why you don't see as many frequent images is because people got tired of having to answer old dead stuff. And when you can get this information directly from some of the people who directly made it, this is why they're on their own discord is because they can provide their own troubleshooting current updates and give you the latest note and information, not just posting some old bills thinking it's going to work. Now, if you want to download them again and get some ROMs out of it, that's fine, but you're going to maybe run, you're going to run into some issues. Uh, either the OS is out of date, needs the EEPROM, emulators are broken, out of date. And so that's why uh, you need to find out the community that you want to support, whether it's Raycall Box, Batacera, and get the latest updates and information from them. Just downloading some of these old bills it's not like it used to be in some cases where they would just be straightforward, but you're going to run into some problems. You're going to run into some headaches and none of these disclaimers are actually made here, letting you know that if you download this, this software is out to date. Now, even on my retro, uh, Supreme ultra, what was it? The, uh, <clears throat> return of the Pistolero, the sending software is out of date. Um, now that was not made for sending. If you wanted to add it, you could, uh, but again, that one's gonna need EEPROM updates and some other things that go along with it. Uh, if you wanna download it, that's fine. It's something I still even have downloaded uh, directly even through my links as well. If you had questions about it, I would tell you uh, in that regard that you know what needs to be updated. But if you didn't know, you know now you know. That's why you know we pulled a lot because pulled away from a lot of this stuff is because you're gonna download something and then you're going to have a bunch of questions and then those questions get directed back to various channels and you know we have other projects that we're working on we can't spend a lot of time supporting stuff that was made for a specific point in time especially when uh other entities you know like the raspberry pi os foundation or retro pi may release an update break something or we just don't support it we just move on to something else that's why we have supreme ultra 2.0 which was the latest version uh, that was released for the Pi 4. Uh, there was no build made for that at all. I did a video review on it about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I think that's only kept up to date because of the Supreme Online Toolkit. So most of these builds are standalone to themselves where they can't be remotely updated or anything of that nature. Obviously we know uh, the Orange Pi 5 can be updated and we you know that's fine as well as uh, Supreme 5. And even then, I think there are some people with having different EEPROM updates and there's something of a little difference of uh, um, some of the new updates that came out with the Pi 5 versus what is uh, is out now. I, I don't remember the exact specifics on that, but I remember that there are some uh, OS updates for that. So that needed to be changed. So again, just wanted to put out this notice of information for anybody trying to download some of the older ones. It would really help if there was disclaimers out there because most of you are gonna download these big images, big bills and say, hey, how come I can't boot? Or where is this particular emulator? How come this emulator doesn't work and I need it for this game? You're gonna run into these issues. If you're downloading something from the dead from 2019, 2020, 21, 22, you're gonna have issues. I can promise you that. I've seen it for myself. I had a perfect 3B plus image working fine. And then, oops, what happened? An emulator uh, was removed uh, until, you know, that. And that was the first time I found out that RetroPie could remove, a fish, RetroPie officially could remove particular emulators at their own given request. 
So, but anyway, make sure you guys stay up to date. Wanted to make sure I put out this video for you guys to uh, cut out the headaches and stuff before they actually happen. Uh, but again, these are some of the reasons why we just don't put stuff out there blatantly because there's no support. I mean, downloading some of these images is fine. It's fun. But at the same time, if you don't have that knowledge base to really support it, you're just going to run into a hassle. So make sure you get into your perspective groups. You get some firsthand information from some of the people who are actually putting out this stuff to work. Um, I've seen Wolf and Nose's images up there. He doesn't offer support or anything like that. He used to have a Discord not any longer. Um, I can't really speak on Batacera Recall Box. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a Discord or anything of that nature, but the same case may apply to them. I think they maybe kind of stay up to date on a lot of things, but again, FYI, uh, make sure you're using the latest and make sure you're getting the information directly from people directly because we don't want you guys to get lost out there in the mix downloading something and it'll, it'll piss you off uh, once you download a big build and it just doesn't work as you think that it should initially. It's not how it would launch day one things have changed and so we've had to make measures to kind of curtail or make sure some of this information is seamless without presenting such a headache for a lot of people out there you guys but anyway you guys have a great day i will catch you later i'm getting back to the office got a lot of things to work on and make sure you hit the notification bell you will be getting some more important updates uh, here on the channel catch you guys soon bye-bye